we got plenty of stuff to do in here, so that's not a problem. So I'm going to be finishing the trim in this room today, and um, Dwayne is working on texture in the other room. And then we've got that back room that needs to be done. There's, there's just, and the kitchen, and every, I mean, there's just so much to be done. So we'll be working here all day long. We've had calls about Christmas trees, so we're hoping people still come and buy Christmas trees. But um, right now, trying to get all this work done inside this room, inside the house. Now, what we know is, once we get, you know, we're kind of, we may be jumping the gun, because we're trying to do a lot of this stuff, and then we're going to have to come back in and do the foundation, have to level the house. And so some things are going to change. Um, once we level, some things may change a lot. <laughs> but um, anyway, so we're trying to see what is going to happen. But we've got a lot to do. So Dwayne's putting texture on these walls in here, which will be the dining room. Um, we're not going to texture that wall because it'll be a closet space, so there's no reason for that. But we will texture these walls because this will be a bedroom. So when he builds the walls in here, um, this will be a third bedroom. and that, But that will be a long closet down a hallway. So we're not going to texture those walls because they don't need it. But we got a lot to get done. Yesterday, we got all of the, almost all, yeah, she did good. Autumn worked in here all day long, or most of the afternoon, and got all of the old um, paper off of this wall, which it's really funny, because I had a house on Moody in Burleson, and I did that exact same faux paint on mine. I had that wall at one time. <laughs> That's so funny. So we still have the border on two walls that has to come off. But um, that's yet to be done, but we'll get that done hopefully today. And then we're just painting in here. It's paneling, just like the other room. We are painting it. And uh, just check to make sure that the color would cover it. And it does. Yeah, this one will be done. We got a lot to do on the ceiling, though. We got to kind of fix and we thought about covering it with sheet rock. And then... I think he's kind of moved away from that, but there's some stuff that needs to be fixed, and it needs to be caulked up a little bit, and then the ceiling, I think, will be fine. So, but it's a pretty old ceiling. So, anyway, more work to do. Okay, so another day of work. Look at this room. Pretty much done. The walls. Now, this wall is the one we're going to do some demo on, and we're going to do a pass-through between the kitchen and the dining room, but... We've got this done, walls done here. This is the going into the hallway. Hallway's pretty much done. I need a second coat probably on the trim. Um, but that's pretty much done. This, oh, pretty lights coming in from outside. Uh, this living room, uh, I've got another second coat on the up top trim, but other than that, this one's done. So, living room check. A little bit, excuse me, a little bit left there. Oh, I see something here that needs to be fixed. I'll fix that tomorrow. So, Christmas lights. Um... So the hallway done. So living room done, hallway done, pretty much. Uh, we The grandkids came over tonight, and they helped pull a bunch of wallpaper off. They didn't really have to come off. We're going to sheetrock this room anyway, but they had a whole lot of fun pulling wallpaper off of these old walls. And uh, <clears throat> she found a name, Patsy Stevens, under here. That's really interesting. I need to start checking around and see who she is. Why her name was on this wall. I don't know what this says over here. Something. I don't know. That's been eaten away by termites and I can't read that. But interesting. So these are walls. So get we're getting working on that. Now he in the bathroom. He got 
part of the wall sheet rocked. So this is all sheet rocked and now that's going to be textured and painted. Uh, this back, that's going to be sheet rocked and we've got to remove that window. We've got a pretty stained glass window there. We're going to remove that and sheet rock all the way across. And then we've got to get a new vanity in here. <clears throat> so that's yet to be. Work to do. So, got a lot done in here. These walls are painted. This is where we're going to be. It's a hallway closet. And then this room that Autumn was pulling stuff off of. We're getting the walls painted in here. So. Progress, progress, progress. Looking good. I'm excited about how much we get done each day. And then, but then you, you look at how much is yet to do and it is so daunting, but we're gonna get her done. Okay, so we are having people come over and look at the foundation stuff. And so we've cut a hole in this floor in the big room to see what's under there, see what we can do about fixing this. And uh, whew, look at how nice this room's turned out. Um, wow, really nice. So, and now we're in this other room and there's a lot of damage to the floor in here. So we had this wood and then there's a linoleum and then there was particle board, another linoleum and then the original wood floor. So that's all the floors that were in here, but pretty much all rotted, at least over there. So either a hot water heater leaked, washing machine leaked, both leaked, and it wasn't taken care of for a long time. So <clears throat> looking to see what needs to be done over here. So this is the not fun part of this. Is floor in there where the water heater is. Okay. So all this is going to have to come out, all this cabinet is going to come out. We have to put in new flooring here. Of course, this is part of what needs to be lifted up, I think, because this is going down from the kitchen down into this laundry room. It, the floor goes down pretty at a pretty good slope. So <clears throat> this is going to have to be fixed anyway. I have to get some stuff. So figure out next steps sweet okay I'm gonna try to do this with hopefully as least interruption possible but in the other room Dwayne is doing exactly what he did in here and that is sanding the floors so it was super cold today again and we were just like not wanting to be outside working on the firework stand, so he decided, let's sand the floors. So we rented the sander, a big old sander. It's a dinosaur, but it's working. And we sanded the floors. Now, of course, you can tell again where we fixed the floors. And it's very obvious now that we sanded. And we still have to do the perimeter with a hand sander, but that didn't take too long. We tried it out right here, and uh, you can see doesn't look too bad. We'll get her done. It didn't take long either. So <clears throat> we will then be staining this floor uh, again. So he still has to run the medium and the fine on it, but that should be easy breezy and uh, get the rest of it down. But it looks very good for the first big sand. So we took all the old stuff off or most of it. We're gonna run the medium and the fine on it still. And then we'll restain. So excited that one room he want he was Dwayne's his goal is to have one room finished, done, and uh, and we'll go from there. So we're working towards that goal. So my husband worked late into the night the other night um, to accomplish many things. One finished, completely finished sanding this floor. Well, we still need to do the very edge. He taped, sheetrock tape embedded this entire room. This was the blue wallpaper room. 
all tape embedded, sheet rocked, ready to roll. We still need to refinish these floors. And then in here, oh, what a mess, what a mess. But it's okay, it's a cleanable mess. He finished sanding this floor. This is the one with the big rug painted on it. So he got that sanded. So we've got to do the edges in here. And so we're finding something to do that. He's got to replace uh, right there. He's got to replace some wood, some paneling along the edge there. This is where there's probably water damage because the windows leaked. So right under the windows, there's water damage and that has to be replaced. And then, so, and then we need to do the edges and then we'll start staining those floors. Now this floor is gonna be completely replaced. We're not sure what that's gonna look like yet, but it will be replaced. It's got a really good subfloor because they replaced it after the fire. Um, but the person will come to lower this middle our foundation lady is going to be amazing. She gave us a really good price, and she'll be coming to level out as much as she can, uh, especially this middle section here, and then the section in the kitchen that was so bad. So we're going to, she'll be working on that with us and for us um, to get that done. So it is a Saturday. Uh, I still have Christmas trees if anybody wants to buy any, but I'm not actively selling them. We've got a lot of work to do. Dwayne's biggest project is to finish the fireworks stand. We are quickly coming upon fireworks time, and that stand is not finished. And so he is going to have to work on that. It's out there somewhere. He's going to work on that all day today, and I will work with him until Jared gets here and then they will work on that and Autumn and I will be inside um, doing things in here. So we've got a lot to do everywhere. So plenty of work left to do, but we're very excited to get it done. I can't wait to show you a finished house. Ah, it's gonna be amazing. And uh, we're closing on the other property that we're buying. We're closing on it um, Wednesday of this next week. So right before Christmas, we close on the other property and we'll have that house um, to get started on when we're ready, when we're finished with this one. So, yay, moving on, moving on. Yay.